to configure the occupancy monitoring application, as well as to view the occupancy count through the web browser, you're going to go to the camera setup page, open platform, and then click the Go App button. This is going to open up a new page. And we need to configure the app for the first time. Make sure you're using a modern browser, such as Chrome or Firefox. We have two sections. We have the camera configuration and HTTP device. Let's start with camera. First, we need to enter in the admin username and password for this camera, for the master camera. Uh, if you're using the same password for all your cameras, you can click the apply button here. You then select the rules. Are you using rule one and or two? And then hit the connection test button to connect and it should show that. We can scroll down and say for the master camera, are we using the alarm input? That is a trigger to reset the count back to zero, a manual button push. And alarm output, when the count goes over the occupancy limit, should it trigger an alarm output. We have the update interval. How often does the application update the count from the people counting on the camera? Uh, this will affect how often it's updated on the web page, on your decoder, your NVR, or however you're viewing it. The default is five seconds. You can adjust that higher or lower if you need. And then we can configure the actual application page. So here I've told it I want to have a limit of 10 people in my store, and I want to show that count on the web page. We have a reset time. I put in 9.55 a.m. So in this case here, maybe my store opens at 10 a.m. So five minutes before the store opens, I'll reset the count back to a zero. We can set the background color for when people are, are allowed uh, to enter the, the, the building, the store. So I'm going to choose a nice green color there and a background color for when they're not allowed a red color. You can choose a logo that goes on the bottom left of the web page. And then you can put in your title, the name of the store, whatever it might be, a welcome message, a message when they are not allowed it to enter, and then also a warning message about, you know, why we're doing this. Hey, we take your safety. Uh, very important. Uh, and that message can be animated or scrolling across the screen. Once you have that, you can go ahead and hit apply to save that, and these settings will be stored. You can come back later, and they'll still be there. Give it a couple seconds to load the web page fully. And here you'll see there it is. If you need to make changes, you hover your mouse on the left side near the left uh, edge of the browser. And this allows you to go back to the setup page. It lets you reset the count. And you can also manually change the count. So if uh, two people walked in together and the camera missed it or something like that, uh, you can reset it. Uh, I'll show you here. I can put in a count of five, press apply. In a couple seconds, you'll see it update. And then if I say we now have 11 people, hit apply. Again, to go back, hover your mouse, hit go setup, and it'll take you back to the setup page and everything we entered earlier uh, will be stored in there. HTTP device. This allows you to uh, trigger some other network device or integrate with a VMS when your occupancy exceeds the limit or is below the limit. To learn more about this and other exciting Hanwha products, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at hanwhasecurity.com.